In Creo 5, it is now possible to add cable stripes to your cables. When you enter the cable stripe UI, you'll notice that out of the box there are a number of different cable stripes. You can also create your own stripe appearances. Start by providing a name, then set the base color, and then define your first stripe by defining the first color, the position, that the first stripe will appear. This can be either a numerical value or a percentage. The width and the gap of the stripe can also be controlled to be a percentage or a numerical value. You can set the stripe to be symmetrical or tiled. You can also add a second section. And following the same procedure, you can control the position, the color, the width and the gap of the stripes. Notice as you change the settings, the graphical preview below updates. You can add multiple section stripes. We're going to stop at two stripes here. Click, click apply to create the stripe. We're going to follow the same procedure to create a horizontal stripe. Again, we're going to give it a striped appearance and name, set the base color, and define the details of the stripe. In this case, it's going to be horizontal. You can control the angle of the stripe, and you can also zoom in to the graphical preview. Once you're happy with your stripes, you can then save them to a CSV file, which can be located in Windchill, on a shared drive, or on your working area. Once you've defined all your striped appearances, you now need to apply them to the cable spools. To do that, simply select the color, and set the color to be the name of the striped appearance. In this case, BLW and RW. As soon as you've applied the color to the spools, you simply regenerate your model. And you'll notice that your cables update to have the new striped appearance.